wanted to see if I could get a fish during the day today. Looks like I have. Been getting nibbled like what you just saw on that rod a lot. So there's a lot of little fish in the area. Guy's pretty good. Nice blue. Figured I'd start out a video with action first. It's been a while since I've done that. Nice blue, whoa. Water is kind of cold here. I don't know if this is coming out on the camera. So I guess I'm going to have to uh, adjust it a little bit. Let's try this again. Whoa! Nice blue. Rowdy blue. The sun is definitely in the wrong place. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. Good fish. I tell you what, the first step to recovery is to admit that you have an addiction. I am addicted to shallow water. I find myself fishing in shallow water way too often. And you're not always going to catch giant fish in shallow water. I know I have in the past. I've caught a 45 pound blue in 10 foot of water and in 10 to 15 foot of water, a 45 pound flathead. I consider water that's around 10 feet deep to be shallow water. If it's four foot of water, that's almost perfect. And here I am fishing in a big deep water lake boat. Now most of the water here is less than 10 feet, but there are spots where there's 20 foot holes, mainly along the bank here. And I'm definitely not near one of them. I have been getting a bunch of bait stealer bites, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay here. I may try to break this addiction and go to some deeper water. At least I caught a fish here. Maybe another one will decide to show up. Hoping for a train bite, just had another train go by and nothing. I've even refreshed baits. The shad activity is a little bit less now too. So I'm going to go work my way out of here and try some deeper water.
water. The sun is in the wrong place. But sometimes you just have to fish. Underneath the boat is about 30 feet of water and out there is kind of an underwater point where it drops off to maybe 60 feet. I marked quite a few fish on this ledge. And I just literally put these out here. I really don't want to pull them up too fast. He is swimming up river. All right. Nice blue. I've actually been to this spot before and didn't catch anything. So they've moved into the area. current going on too. That's a nice blue. And he's wanting a death roll. It's a nice one. Be nice if the sun was in front of us. It is what it is. Decent blue. Alright, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Oh, man. <laughs> there he goes. He almost got the pliers with him. That's why I have them around my wrist so the fish can't steal the pliers. I've actually had that happen before, but we did recover the pliers before the fish swam off. Well, that's one fish in shallow and one fish in deep water. And I'm just using fresh skipjack that my buddy Milton Hill Bill gave me. I do get his leftovers a lot. Which I'm not going to complain. Gets me out here on the water catching fish. Nice piece of skipjack. Let's see if I can catch another one. Most of the bites have been over here, and that's kind of where the drop-off is, so I think I'm going to move the boat a little bit. I'm trying to drift right now, and I see fish following my baits, but they're not committing. It's really hard to drift with all this boat traffic. It's not the first time I've had this happen where I see fish following my baits when I'm drifting. Last time I had a guest out on my boat, we saw a lot of fish, even some really, really big signatures just follow the bait, but no commitments. The only fish we caught was anchor fishing. 
and in deep water. I do take guests to deeper water, and if I can't catch anything in deeper water, I end up in shallow water. I really do like shallow water. I did have to break one line when I moved to dress fishing. I don't know what I was snagged on, but I was hook snagged. Broke my leader line, which is an 80 pound leader line. I think I'm going to go ahead and let the full moon win today. I don't know what I'm going to do about a um, thumbnail. Maybe I do a heroic pose with the battle cat. Okay, I don't know if that'll work. I guess I'll find out when I start editing this video. High pressure and a full moon, I caught two fish. It was a good day. I guess I'm going to head back to the ramp and head home. I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please smash that thumbs up icon. It helps promote my channel. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more fish in the next video. Thank you guys again.